All right, so here we go with James 1.27. Pure and undefiled religion in the sight of our God and Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their time of distress and to keep oneself unstained from the world. So another way of wording this is religion that is pure and undefiled. Uh, some, some, some people will word it that way instead. So pure or clean and uh, undefiled would be unstained. So clean and unstained. So, cause we know we, we got some shirts in the closet that they have been run through the wash, but that doesn't mean we got all the stains out of them. We still had that, that, uh, that marinara sauce that might be hanging out on one of the corners of our, of our shirt. So we want clean and unstained. Uh, so undefiled religion, again, we're, we're thinking verb with this. Um, these are the actions that we're walking out, our worship, our, are we acting like a, a person that fears God? So, and, and again, this is pure and undefiled religion, not government. Because the things that James is going to be talking about is talking about for us, not for government to do. So in the sight of our God and Father. So this is also before our God and Father. So with this, kind of think, um, what does a clean room look like in the sight of your parents? What does curfew look like? in the sight of your parents. Okay, so this is what James is getting at here. Um, it is to look in on, visit orphans and widows. These are the type of people that cannot reciprocate. They've got no one else. They need somebody else, not, not their family. They, they got nobody else to check in on them, to help them out when they need something. So that's the type of people that we are to, as Christians, be looking in on if we want to say our religion looks good in the sight of God. So in their time of distress, um, another affliction or when they're in trouble. So uh, again, a lot of these types of people might be in certain homes, an orphan home or the, the old folks home or whatever you want to call it there. Uh, so one of the things, just quick tangent, these lockdowns are killing these people. They really are. And as Christians, we need to get out and we need to be visiting them. Uh, again, I'm not uh, trying to say that I'm, I'm perfect at this, but, but just, just a side note there that some of the government mandates have made it difficult to work out what it looks like to God, what pure and undefiled religion looks like to him. So, and to keep oneself unstained by this world. So this is the unstained. This is holy. And, and James is saying we are to be, or we are to do holy, not just be holy, we are to do it, okay? Um, so the other thing with this unstained, um, I, again, th think about that, that lasagna that we had. Don't, don't get any on you because that's, that's going to stain your shirt and you can clean it, but it's going to take a lot more work to get that stain out. So keep oneself unstained by the world. This is cosmos. This is worldly desires. This is being wrapped up in the here and now and not thinking about past that. This is your, your pride of life, your earthly desires. That, that's what James is talking about here. So we can read uh, Jeremiah 22.3 also has a similar thing. So thus says the Lord, and he's talking to uh, the Jews at the time, uh, do justice and righteousness and deliver the one who has been robbed from the power of his oppressor. Also, do not mistreat or do violence to the stranger, the orphan, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place. So Jeremiah, the prophet, he's, he's extending this a little bit and talking, to, he, he's including more than just the orphans and widows. Uh, the Bible is a, is a series of, of things here and James isn't focused on that, but Jeremiah, uh, speaking for God, um, also included some other stuff there. That was Jeremiah 22, 3. So again, our actions, our words, what do they look like before God? Looking after people who cannot reciprocate. And we just got off of talking about what our tongue looks like, because James just finished talking about, you can tell somebody's not walking it out just by listening to what they say. Is what they're saying truthful? and or is it meant to build people up? 
Okay, that's what it should look like. And if you don't see that in a person, if they got profanity and they're always negative and putting people down, you know they ain't walking the walk or talking the talk and then what it looks like. So that's the flip side. And then this side here is talking about now this is what it should look like.